up, everybody, and welcome to the very 16th episode of Locked from the Other Side, where a group of friends come together to discuss all the nerdy news you can shake a stick at. I'm one of your hosts, Eric Borgard, joined as always by Geo Pimentel. Here I am. Mike Amaral. Yo. Tom Silva. Franklin Roosevelt was related to five U.S. presidents by blood and six by marriage. Snapple fact. Snapple fact? Yeah, I'm drinking a Snapple. You know what? That's how we should get our quotes all the time, honestly. <laughs> With Snapples. Good call. Snapples. And special guest this week, Tim Eaton. Hey, Tim. What's up, everyone? Hi, Tim. Good to be here. Oh, hey, Tim. <laughs> hey, Tom. Uh, we literally found this guy begging for money in front of the studio. Was, and we were like, studio, want to do a podcast? I like, a job. Well, so I wasn't the only one who felt bad? No, we all no. felt bad. That's kind of right. why we did it. Okay, But cool. we don't have any money. It's strictly for warmth. I mean, it is cold out there. <laughs> uh, Mike, you have money. <laughs> You're the one with the money. Money bags, buying M&Ms. And Snapple. And Crunch. Snapple. For your Snapple Crunch. fact of the day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what did you guys do last week? We took the week off. Yeah, we did take a week off. Why did we take a week off again? Because of you. 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 <laughs> you. Literally only you. <laughs> you said, I can't do the podcast on Thursday, and we were all like, well, okay. <laughs> Not bad. It is. You're doing something. I don't know. Oh, how embarrassing. Oh, oh, <laughs> my God. How'd that homeless guy get an iPhone? <laughs> Fired. Uh, how have you just gotten to this country? That's a good point. Thank you, Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's get to the topic. For what this did you week. do this this past week? Anything? Exciting? I don't know when answered me, so I'm not going to answer you. All right, we fine. were berating. Mike. I voted. You voted. <laughs> it okay. was Super Tuesday. We were berating oh, Mike, yeah. so nobody answered. That's True. right. We were yelling at him. I watched TV. I got into freaking Pokemon again after a long run of not getting. Yeah, into I bought You're Pokemon a goddamn Yellow. loser. I'm all losers. <laughs> You're a loser. Two. Yeah, but not for Pokemon. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but you were the one telling me where to go in Pokemon. Yeah, yeah you memorized You can't prove these. that. <laughs> right up your bum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Prove it. <laughs> we do a video podcast. No one's ever seen that, so that's a lot. Well, you got two peoples here that, that saw you just explaining the whole map of Pokemon Yellow. You two yeah, are the, the biggest keys, liars in the world. The keys are in the trash cans in Lieutenant Surge's gym. Yeah, you, I'm glad you, you know that. Uh, I wouldn't even know who the <laughs> fuck's <laughs> Lieutenant Surge. <laughs> no, I was driving. It happened. Driver can never lie. Oh, so what happened? Why weren't you paying attention to the road then? You don't drive with your eyes closed? <laughs> no. Not when I want to live. <laughs> What's the matter with you? With then? a car load of people. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. I, did, I don't feel safe. Driving around him anymore. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Did we get into any accidents? Not, no. Barely. I yeah. I don't think so. So there we go then. Anyways. Problem solved. Problem solved. There's no trees in the way. <laughs> Continue. First topic of the week. <laughs> Uncharted for delayed again. Delayed again. Wah, wah, wah. Again. Just get it right. Come Hashtag on, Colin was right. All right. He's always right. <laughs> He's got the inside. Just, just there's Actually, no. they did not. <laughs> they do have a that. relationship with. Uh, why can't I think Don't of his name it. right now? Yeah, I was yeah. trying to. Neil Druckmann. Neil Druckmann. Yeah. yeah. And Neil Druckmann was like, no, it's not going to get delayed again. And then it got delayed now, again. Now, was this so. delayed because that whole Assassin's Creed art stolen thing? Because I remember reading something about that. There was a big I didn't issue. Even hear about that. Did I hear yeah, about they, that? they had some big... concept art. So, that ga or was it in the gameplay trailer? It's one of the rooms. There's like this. Painting and it's like right from a piece of concept art. Of oh, actually, Creed. I did see that. You're right. It looks exactly the same. So no, I think they're just trying to like polish it up, like they do with all their games. But this, they, is, this like is the, the second the time. Yeah. Second, I thought, they're, I thought they're this doing another close multiplayer. To the time beta they've too. delayed yeah. this. Like yeah. this has been the biggest game probably for the PS4, and it's just constantly getting delayed. That's okay. It'll I, be fine. I think well, it'll be a great one. You know what? Uncharted fans are really happy about. It. Oh, they just get it right, just get it right, and then you know, other people just don't. Fucking people are gonna care. be pissed if it's not right. <laughs> well, yeah. The, yeah. I think what they're working on is a multiplayer. They really want it to. They want it to do well for the 100 people that'll play it. Right, that's what I'm saying. Because you know, the other ones weren't really that su successful. So maybe that's what they want. They just that, want it to do well. In my I opinion, that style of game just isn't meant to be multiplayer. No, it's not. Like, it I should mean, be just story, the story alone. Storyline alone is addicting enough. That, right, like, just make it a single player, absolutely story, and be done with it. I think they usually don't care about multiplayer, but the success of Last of Us as multiplayer kind of led them to believe like we can put a fun multiplayer that people yeah. will get into. Into this. it's very fun. Last of Us is I don't know. Uncharted. I played the Uncharted close beta. Oh. It was good. I'll take your word for it. I don't know. It was fun. Special. Anything else on Uncharted? No, fine with the delay. 
that's uh that's i mean that's really all there is to say about it yeah yeah I mean, although you can give them another choice you're waiting yeah no matter what how so. long are they delayed for anyone it's like an, only a week i think a yeah, week and a half maybe okay. two weeks yeah, yeah it's, months, i think it's like april 24th to may 10th uh, that's not, okay it's not a big deal no because it was, like it was no, and then a, the, it's not a long one again it's just i think it was supposed to be this month it was supposed to come out and then Has it got delayed to april actually played the entire series i yeah, have played the entire series yes yeah me personally, I was shocked that they even went with the fourth one, to be mm. honest, because I didn't think they really needed one. It but was I mean, needed. You really think so? I just the wanted it. I just, I, well, I, yeah, the I game makes I too much was, money for them. Yeah, not I think I more wanted it than, than anything. Yeah, I definitely wanted it. It's definitely a fourth game that I wanted. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. It plays, yeah. like, it plays like you're watching a movie. It re it's really that, that good. I like it a lot. <laughs> I like it a lot. <laughs> it's one of the few things he does like in life. <laughs> Next topic. Valve is in the process of rolling out dynamic pricing for some... For Half-Life 3. Ow. No. You're, you heard it here first, guys. <laughs> every time he blows out your eardrum without fail. Every episode. At least once every episode. Yeah. Tom, Tom was right. Tom was right. Half-Life 3. Half-Life 3. That's actually not at all what oh, the story is about. Well, never mind. Oh, sorry. <laughs> in okay. the process of rolling out dynamic pricing for some bundles on Steam. While there aren't many of them yet, publishers should be able to begin implementing the feature soon, according to reports. With dynamic bundles, your prices scale down for items you already own. One example is Valve's own Half-Life complete offering. So complete it doesn't include three, because it's never going to happen. <laughs> You, that, you're that's really only, the, well. I I'm sorry. You play on Steam too. But. Yeah, I play on Steam a lot, uh, and that's really for only the publishers who want to um, participate in that. It's yes. not. It's yeah. not for um, for for everyone. It's an interesting idea, though. Yeah. Well, so if you want to you want to get into a sequel or a, a you know a, a lineage of games or whatever, but you already own one of them, so it'd be nice to get a discount on the bundle. Yeah. Um, well, here's the other thing too: is the whole humble bundle. Yep. And stuff like that. Yeah, you're getting games from like essentially one developer. Right. They're usually all available on Steam, but sometimes you're paying like three bucks for about six games or something. Yeah, you definitely get a good Depending. deal. Yeah, there's a yeah. bunch of other ones that like I so think. So they gotta work gaming. to get those deals. Right. And I mean they with Steam sales already, they already give a lot of sales and deals anyway. That's why I like buying that's why PC gaming is already trended so digitally. Yeah. And console gaming hasn't yet. But mm -hmm. then again, PCs also, you can continue to upgrade, you right. know, space wise and everything. But and I think spend it, a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, that's why I still have, I've had the same laptop for four years. I've had the same laptop for, it's a gaming laptop, but yeah, I've had it for, same. A, for a while. Yeah. I don't need to play The Witcher on my uh, ultra high on definition. PC. Yeah. I can play it on my PS4. That's fine. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm the same way. Mm -hmm. For what I want to do with it and what games I want to play on it, it's fine. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Good job, Valve. Uh, just fix, uh, you know, the hacking that just happened, you guys. Yeah, that's, that would probably be good. You, you see that everywhere. You know, Xbox Live gets hacked. They get taken down for whatever. Yeah. PlayStation Network is down. You know, it's, it's, it's all to prove a point. Yeah, it's always happening. To prove the point that their security is not good, so they should hire people who are so good at their security. Well, you know. It's the greatest job interview ever. <laughs> it's not the best way to go about things. <laughs> There's two pieces of news for the division, so I'm going to read them both, and then we can talk about both. But let me go through both. Dose. Game critics will not be able to review the division until after its servers go live on release day, publisher Ubisoft has confirmed. The corporation said it would be more beneficial for reporters and reviewers to access, to assess the MMO in a live environment as opposed <laughs> to fair. a simulated one. It has told fans to not expect reviews of the game until after release date, which is March 8th. Mm. Also, okay. in, on the Division front, its free DLC and paid expansions have received new details and release windows. As far as free content goes, players will be able to tackle new daily and weekly missions as well as Dark Zone events as soon as the game launches on March 8th. Shortly after in April, the free Incursions update will add endgame content designed for teams of four players to fight seemingly unstoppable enemies for high-level loot. The update will also add loot trading, which will allow players in the same squad to trade loot collected during co-op game sessions. And the next free update, titled Conflict, will follow in May and bring a new Dark Zone feature as well as an incursion into New York's Columbus Circle. So we can talk about both of those. I know you're back in on Division. Yeah, I think I'm, uh, I'm back in on Division. Um, I still have to, haven't pre-ordered it, but I think I'm back in. Um, probably be... 
there aren't many big AAA games, I think, that I really want coming out this year. That's, this is probably, I guess, one of them. Um, but that, that DLC <laughs> sounds sounds kind of cool, I think. Uh, what was that first bit of news you were saying? Uh, he was saying that... It won't be available oh, to review until uh, after yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Which, yeah. it makes sense for an MMO because, I mean, you have to really experience the live features right. rather than, like they said, a simulated... Otherwise, it's just you're all the, reviewers, you're, you're not really getting... Closed servers, yeah. everything's going to be running fine. There's going to be yeah, you really no issues. Everything. Now they'll be able to experience issues and be like, well, fuck, you know. Eventually, because they probably will, Two, I don't know if they did it with Destiny. I mean, I think they did it when Taken King came out, but they'll update the score at probably after a new patch. Yeah, a lot of a lot of times. So after um, that first expansion, there will probably be an update to any reviews. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of websites do reviews in progress anyway, but it's it makes sense to have it yeah. on the live server and stuff. Definitely should be a review in progress. I mean, I think that'd be good. You getting the division, Tim? Or? Oh, I'm definitely getting the division. And as far as the reviews go, I think. With this MMO, I think more games should do more live reviews. Like as the game comes out, I think that I think depending on how this review goes, this could really sell more uh, gaming uh, like coverage websites. Coverage websites. So I think it would make it would sell the game more. I think more game designers will focus more on getting it done right the first time than actually having to consistently fix and fix and fix. I mean, there's always going to be something you're not going to please everyone, but think the live review is going to be huge for this game yeah it'll i mean sales are already going to be probably pretty high because of the hype around the game but it definitely if uh it reviews well right out of the gate people who are on the fence will because i mean the review will probably come like you know a week maybe two weeks later and then people who decide to wait for reviews there's going to be a hand, there's going to be not a as many that pre-ordered but there's still going to be enough that it's going to impact the sales on an increase yeah because for the long haul, I'm sure the game will meet whatever sales numbers it's going to need to make. But I'm sure there's you know additional sales that could be made. I mean, Tom Clancy game is going to sell either way. I mean, yeah. There's, not, there's very few that I... I mean, as far as I've played, there's very few Tom Clancy games I've been like, oh, this game sucks. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I mean, this game looks phenomenal. And, I mean, just from the little bit I've seen the beta I've played, I don't think they're going to lose a lot of numbers or sales. Is there a bad game. Tom Clancy game? Um, Maybe. I can't think of it. I didn't play that End War game, but uh, that was an RTS. Uh, yeah, that was an RTS. That was an that was RTS. Different. But um, I've been pumped for the Division since like they first showed it at like two E3s back or whatever. But uh, the expansion sound awesome, and yeah. I really just I'm excited next week already for yeah to just get in and play the game finally. It the, seems more like it's a multiplayer game than it is a yeah. single player. Yeah, I have no problem doing game. that. Though, but. They're gonna benefit too from Destiny's failures. Yeah, they yeah, already Destiny learned from was the Destiny yeah. was the first one that came out. This is three years after Destiny. Yeah, something like that. Coming two and a half, two, or two and a half or yeah. so after Destiny. So they're gonna. There's a lot they've learned from watching uh, Bungie's cycle with Destiny, going into their expansions and then just their initial lack of content. Because they even I I don't know if you said it. They have the broken part for the end game. End game's gonna come like a week yeah, later exactly. or so. April, April, end game April. Content, the end game yeah. content will come out, so you have plenty of time to level up. There's going to be those people that are, you know, leveled up yeah. immediately. Yeah. And those people will complain that the the end game content didn't come fast enough. Yeah, because there's oh, always... take your time, go like. go to work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ghost Recon, you don't need to take Warfare. the time off. That was Tom Clancy, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Ghost Recon was the Future Warfare. Um, Advanced Warfare? Advanced no. Warfare, you mean? no. No, Future, Future Warfare. Warfare. That was Future a bad game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Was, I was so, trying to so think of one. That, that was one. Right, I take a, it back. That, that one was bad. bad. I'm shocked <laughs> that the most negative person at the table took the time to find a bad game. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> 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 Moving on. You know what? It's because I bought it and I played it. It was bad. That sorry. new Ghost Recon looks cool, though. Uh, I haven't seen it. The one that's like worldwide missions and stuff. Oh, uh, really? oh, the one that's like taking after like drug cartels and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna look up the name for it just to. Uh, uh, I think it's I know the one you're talking about, but yeah, it's called the Wild Something. No, Wildlands. Wildlands. Never. I haven't heard Ghost of that. Recon Wildlands. It was um. There was an E3 trailer last it's year. An open world tactical shooter game. Yeah, I remember yeah. it being mentioned, but I didn't see anything for it. I saw the trailer. The trailer was dope. <sighs> Interesting. All right, next story. According to a de destructoid rumor, Nintendo is funding the Ubisoft sequel similar to what the company did with Bayonetta 2, which the game will be Beyond Good and Evil 2, which would then come 
out exclusively on NX in 2017. Wow. Um, I never played the first one, but this is one of those games where like people talk about all the time. All we, the time. Want to, yep. we want to. We want to. We want to. Um, it's gonna suck for those people because <laughs> if it's Nintendo, <laughs> extras <laughs> gave it to you. I'm happy that Nintendo is actually you know taking ownership of something and making it the um, big swinging dick and Nintendo it, slapping. It's you in like the face. they're. <laughs> it seemed like they were. You mean the shrimpy tiny <laughs> dick that what isn't once what it used to be? <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like they were kind of just going through the motions, and. Um, <laughs> You know, just taking ownership of something, something like that is it's exciting, especially for NX, which I I think I, I might get. Um, I'm probably gonna get it. I'll see what the price point is before I decide. I want to see like yeah, out. I know like some. Spe- I don't know if this is on the story, but I'd like, like specs got leaked Nintendo or console. something. Right? No, it's not. Oh, I put it on the chat, but. Um, I went to read it. I was probably in class. Was that you work? guys bombarded like, that chat? Some guy that leaked. Some throw. guy that leaked like a bunch <laughs> of crap. He's like a really notable like dude leaker yeah takes good he leaked piece. like an x specs and it looks pretty it wasn't tight x cool. was it because i hate that guy he's oh, the I one who know. said we could change our names for PlayStation, no. and he fucking lied no, i don't think it was that but, guy. Uh, <laughs> you can't change your name for psn on the no, you can't. just got paid no yeah. okay no you can't pay you oh, can't wow. change it at all that sucks yeah um i didn't play the first any did anyone play the first beyond good and evil no, no. what kind of game is it I never even heard of this. It's I don't I know it. I what ta- I know. It. It's like a chick and a pig. <laughs> People you've, talk about you've it. Already all the time. lost me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it was a great game, I guess. But I yeah, know. I haven't I haven't played that. It reminds. <laughs> no, no, definitely have. Played. Are you looking it up? Are you? No, I just found. Um, okay, so the guy's name is Gino. Sourced only known as Gino. <laughs> Gino Smith. He's got uh, a lot to do now that he can't play quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> so his, about I guess his time. credentials, the source Gino that told you Nintendo would release a Pokemon game that utilized a full 3D engine, X or Y, which was X and Y, told you there would be a new type of Pokemon in, new, in the new Pokemon game, which was Fairy. Older Pokemon would get new abilities and forms. Mewtwo told you the PS4 would be capable of producing modern day graphics on DirectX 11 level. Uh, told you Microsoft would introduce an Omni projection unit. Blah 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 blah. Okay, so he's got all. I was gonna say, how much those of his, his credentials <laughs> are you gonna fucking read? I got some hey, credit. Okay, there you go. The guy knows. Uh, he's right. So it has a wireless HDMI. I love this word dongle. Yep. That attaches flush to the back of the device. User That's can pull cool. pull it out and insert it into you any display read with a normal size no, HDMI I, output. I saw it and I never clicked. On. Sounds pretty good. Uh, allegedly, the analog controls for movement has small motors in them for full haptic feedback. Mean meaning, if you control a character and hit a wall, the sticks move away from the direction of that wall to simulate running headfirst into it. It can literally Bluetooth sync with everything. Uh, in terms of power, it gets to is the Xbox One. Um, Here's the thing with the wireless. The real strength of the device is its usability and ease and ease of use. That's that's that's. As that's long really as they it. give me a controller. Yeah, give me a. <laughs> there's not there's I'm not happy. not a bunch more to say about it. I know there was a thing out with the Pokemon uh, Sun and Moon announcement that like they found like a thing in the URL that like leaked something about a Pokemon for NX or something like that. Oh really? Oh, really? I think it might be. A game might be, be like being console. developed for Pokemon yeah. Snap. Too. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Pokemon <laughs> Stadium for NX. Nope. <laughs> Just a FYI, he, they, you noted that there was a wireless dongle uh, dongle uh, for the HDMI. The big swinging dongle. <laughs> uh, that's, <laughs> that's actually that can cause a major m- cause major problems with Wi-Fi signals. So uh, it's be interesting to see how they do that, making it wireless. I'm assuming it's going to be... Do you work with a lot of dongles at work? <laughs> we have some dongles, yes. A lot of big swing dongles. At <laughs> Probably shouldn't have all those dongles you guys around, are so around in a school system. Yeah. <laughs> do, do they have to no. quarry check those dongles? <laughs> yes, we cannot use our dongles in the school system. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> oh, God. What I would have had that conversation seriously with you, but uh, <laughs> we're sure not going to... We killed it anyway. <laughs> hey, we're Where's Dyer? Is dead. He, he dead. R.I.P. R.I.P. Where's R. Cody? Uh, f- Florida. Florida. Dead. Well, he's dead. close to dead. God's waiting room. Oh, he's right. in God's waiting room. <laughs> Even closer, he's in Fort Myers. That's that's as close as it gets to God's waiting room. <laughs> what a miserable state they'll be in. So oh, well, you know bad. it's warm. It's a bunch of geriatric people just waiting to die. <laughs> I like going to Florida. 
bunch of whack jobs the, down the, there. The best way to sum up Florida is Jeb Bush was governor, and we saw how much of a loser that guy was. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, do I really have to run for it? Is it my Dad, brother, do I have to? <laughs> I don't want to run for prey. I'm dropping now. <laughs> I have I turtles in my pocket. I just want- <laughs> <laughs> that was the best story ever. <laughs> Handing out fake turtles to kids to try to get votes. Oh, they can't shit. even vote. <laughs> oh man, you oh. silly son of a bitch just wants to smoke weed and fish. <laughs> that's probably that's a good life. Next story: <laughs> Six Flags has just unveiled North America's first virtual reality coaster. Now, when I first read that, I thought this was gonna be dumb, but this sounds fucking awesome. So they're building a new roller coaster called the New Revolution. And how it works is when you're in line, you get the Samsung Gear VR headsets and you put them on. So you ride the roller coaster with the headset on and it simulates. uh, Let's see how they're actually piloting a fighter jet during an alien invasion. What? So it's like on a roller coaster. It's on an Independence Day roller coaster and you're watching it. So it's like a motion simulator ride. They could literally you, change that to whatever they want. Yeah, they could do whatever they want. could change that every time. Change the experience. But it's via... Yeah, they're going to have to test that Puke a lot before it. Yeah, yeah, people are going to throw up. that's awesome. Yeah. You could just have different VR headsets for roller coasters and different ride every time you change the movie. People are going to freak Those out. Oh, didn't so Disney now is this based... So basically, the, you, you you actually go on a legitimate yeah, ride. Yeah, right, it's headset. a standing roller... It's you're, You will ride a standard roller coaster. You put on the Samsung Gear VR headset... And it makes it look like you're piloting Jeez. a fighter jet against an alien invasion while you're doing loop de loops. That's crazy. Sign me up. You're yakking all over yeah. your next door Throw, neighbor over here. Throwing up all over yourself. <laughs> Don't care. I'll go on that shit right now. Did it, uh, I'll test it. Didn't Dis- Disney already had a virtual reality roller coaster, didn't they? At Disney Quest? I don't know. Yeah, but that's sure. that's a motion that simulator. Count? Oh, okay. No, that's not. Simulator. This is an actual roller coaster, and you're wearing VR while okay. on the roller coaster. Uh, that was cool. just basically a motion simulator ride. Okay. I went on it. So that's the difference. I, I can see that, in, in my opinion, the first couple of weeks of this, easily a lot of people are either going to get really sick and just those things are going to come flying all. They're just going to be like, really fuck this. Yeah. People get really <laughs> sick. And half the money, <laughs> half the money they spend, they're going to be like, oh my God. I'm assuming right. they'll probably be attached to I, the... Uh, they better do something because... Like, of, <laughs> Oh, like, like, like no, like it, uh, it's probably like oh, attached to the head seat, over, yeah. headrest yeah. or something. Yeah, um, you just pull it down. But yeah, people get sick just playing VR, let alone being playing on a VR fucking or on a roller coaster, yeah, yeah. and then you combine, you combine it. the two yeah. things. It's like the yeah. one central. It's, it's the perfect storm. Uh, All yeah, you central. need is a teacup <laughs> VR one. <laughs> oh man, it's awesome. I'm still oh. gonna go on it. Uh, <laughs> which Six Flags was it? Is it New England? Is it, it didn't in general or is it just Six Flags in general? It okay. didn't specify. Um, next story. Uh, Doom developer id Software is looking for f- looking to fans to choose the game's reverse cover ahead of its May 13 re- release. Is so that because people complained about the cover? The no, game? there was going to be a oh. reverse cover anyway. And okay. just decide. So the two options are, the one is it's in the old art style of the first Doom. That one looked pretty cool. And then the other one is just like basically a satanic skull with like... Pentagrams on it everywhere. And stuff. Yeah, but um, I th- I think the uh, old style artwork is pretty cool. Yeah, uh, it's not a huge thing because it's just the reverse of whatever the, the actual front. cover is. Right. Is there a write-in option? No. <laughs> Why? What, what would you choose? <laughs> yeah. What are you? Marshawn Lynch playing? Oh my god! On the back, like in the Conan. <laughs> I would have the. You would have the Rock. Tastes instead. like Kool Aid. Kool Aid. <laughs> <laughs> I do love me some Marshawn Lynch. <laughs> He's in Egypt having a good time. Think that's Did you see a video the other day of him like sliding him down sliding the stairs? Down, said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a flat marble railing and yeah. he just slides down it. Oh, God. <laughs> that's pretty much the whole video. Good for Doom. I'm going to get that game. You know me. I would I would just do the retro. So. I think the retro is probably going to, if they end up going with the retro, you're going to get, just for the nostalgic factor, you're going to yeah. sell more copies. Yeah. Probably. yeah. probably. It's probably the way to go. For all those people that played it when it first came out, like Geo. I'm so Atari, old. On the Atari uh, yes. 2600. <laughs> it wasn't on the 2600. <laughs> ColecoVision? Right, right, no. the, right, right after. ColecoVision was dope. I used to play Smurfs on it at my uh, Meme's house. Awesome. Well, see, I think ColecoVision <laughs> was better than the, than Atari. So Gio used right. to yeah. play Pitfall while his parents were awake, and then when they went to bed, he would play Doom. <laughs> Listen, I never had I never had the Atari or Coleco. My first system was Nintendo. Sure. So. And so. that's why you'll still give him every chance, just like an abusive husband. <laughs> <laughs> they, you keep telling yourself they're going to change. Don't stop drinking. Listen, but they're not. They will. They're just going to run the Seattle just Mariners to the ground. To- <laughs> Speaking of Nintendo. What do you got? Any Pokemon nerds here? 
Oh, we already know. <laughs> we already know you're one of them. <laughs> <laughs> really? Because I'm pretty sure I'm on record on this podcast saying this is a stupid idea. Okay. What is? <laughs> at, what was? <laughs> Niantic Labs catch them all Pokemon Go and real world gaming session. No, at I this think year's this is a dumb idea, GDC though. has been canceled. The presentation was originally set for March 14th. We have decided to forego our GDC talk on Pokemon Go in order to focus on getting the product ready for beta test and launch. Niantic CEO John Hank told Game Informer. Tom <laughs> Hanks' his brother. No, it's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his cousin, then. <laughs> as much as we hate... Mother said. As much as we hate to Talk disappoint to those in the industry <laughs> attending GDC, we feel our time and energy right now are best spent on making sure every aspect of the product is where we want it to be. Killing little children who aren't going to cross the street correctly <laughs> because they're looking down trying to catch a goddamn ride shoe in New York City and then a fucking bus. Ba-bam! <laughs> Sorry, Mike. That wasn't that bad. Oh, good. You back I'll try again. The mic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree. I think that's a no. It, AR is just it's so dumb. No one's going to use that. No. Thing. Well, you, maybe the 10 year old in New York City will now. I think well, theory, he's not using it, it anymore. Would. He got hit by a bus. He did. <laughs> I mean, in theory, it, it probably would have sold to a good amount of people, but that's, you, like you said, that's. I think it'll still be people. like. Oh, here's the thing I'm shitting sold. on it right now. It's going to be super successful. I don't because because of the name. I yes. don't think for a very long time though. I think you're going to use it for a very short amount of time. Unless it unless it, unless a meta game comes where like people start being gym leaders or some shit like oh, that. Oh yeah, like, you got to find them in real yeah. life. Jesus and, Christ! And then they just pity you like the real Ash catch them and they give you the badge even though you didn't beat them. <laughs> 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 it's like a five year old kid like looking for gym leaders and it's like oh this poor kid. Oh, <laughs> That's got, actually the way it's going to end. He's going to get abducted. Up? Yeah. Do you want a Pikachu? Get in the van. <laughs> <laughs> I can all I'm thinking of is all the potential crime like that kidnapping, yes, child exactly. abduction. <laughs> People breaking and entering because there's a rare Pokemon. There's a rare Pokemon in the house. <laughs> they just bust in the window. I would so fucking break into a house for a legendary Pokemon. I'm not even talking care. about a house. I'm talking about like fucking Area 15. <laughs> <laughs> That's where Mewtwo is being kept. Oh, Mewtwo's there. Even, we got to go. You won't even make it down the road. You I get know. shot. That's what I mean. There's so many you deaths coming shot, from Pokemon Go. Those pictures just... <laughs> those pictures of area. You don't want us to think there's nothing going on at Area 51. Don't put. Don't make your snipers visible. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> there's plenty of pictures. They're visible. Just stop. Dude, imagine if they did put a Mewtwo in Area 51. That would be so, so freaking. Oh uh, well, funny. we know we'd be eventually <laughs> fucked. <laughs> That's why there's an Independence Day sequel because it's gonna happen again. <laughs> Falling Skies, best believe they're coming back. Spoilers for Falling Skies. <laughs> Humans win. It's been long enough. I Humans think win. Right. Well, I mean, it only ended last summer. <laughs> That's I, I stopped in season two. Well, <laughs> season two was probably its best season. You guys ready for the Star Wars block of the show? Stop. Do it. Stop. I, I watched A New Hope yesterday because I was bored. Because. Awesome. <laughs> Th- thanks. <laughs> that really ramps me up for this. <laughs> Did you put that the Blu-ray has a release date? Yes, that's okay. the first part. Disney has confirmed Star Wars The Force Awakens will be available in home video form from Disney movies anywhere on April 1st. And it's a trap. Blu-ray and DVD on April 5th. Yes. Yes. So, oh, so it, that's gonna so be awesome. Blu-ray's April fifth. Yeah, yeah, April first. I thought it was all April first. Did you say it was a three? I made a good. It's a trap. Yeah, because of the today. April Fools. Yeah, there's a bunch of special features. One of them is what I'm really interested in is the first table read. Oh, that's they're, awesome. G- they recorded it and it's gonna be on. That it, is so that's awesome. Cool. Well, really, I'm just gonna skip to the end to Mark Hamill where he looks down and he goes, "I had no fucking lines in this. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Why am, am I, I here?" here? <laughs> he sits through the whole table read silent and he's just like JJ can I get some fucking lines well, I know like what would be even better like throughout the table read the whole time he's just kind of like looking around <laughs> like Brand flipping like, through the pages he's frantically <laughs> flipping through he's like <laughs> he's like whispering to people like is this J- JJ is there a rewrite in there somewhere <laughs> and JJ goes Hamill you were awesome <laughs> exactly what I wanted that face you just made gold do that <laughs> and we'll pan around this you 45 face? times <laughs> Awesome. That board looking confusion wait for that you've had name for the last of this four hours. Name of this, <laughs> Use that. The name of this episode is Give Hamill Some Lines. <laughs> <laughs> oh, In other Star Wars news, more on the gaming front now. Um, Finn himself wants a single player mode for... for uh, I saw that. Battlefront? Yeah, that's the word yeah. of Boyega, who starred as Finn in The Force Awakens, engaged EA's official Star Wars Twitter account to put a request in for an offline story mode. EA responded by asking if Boyega... Have you played the missions? Yeah. <laughs> Tried out the missions, to which he responded, fuck you, those things suck. <laughs> no, he said, yeah, I thought it was great, but definitely want you leaving. <laughs> Leaves you wanting to engage within a narrative. 
Boyega requested permission to via visit EA's UK base, and EA replied saying an arrangement could be made, as if they were going to be like, Turn uh, no. "No, Finn, you yeah. can't." No, Finn, you're not allowed. Official to go. first order, <laughs> officials only. <laughs> but that's cool. I have a feeling EA is like, sorry guys about Battlefront. We're making a second one right now. Well, I mean, Battlefront was good. Is good. It was good. I would. I, the only thing I really want from it, and this actually leads to the next story, is I want like an expansion, but with Force Awakens stuff. Yeah. Like I want yeah, Finn because they couldn't do, they couldn't do it at the time. I just yeah. want what out. was in the originals, really. Yeah, but now that it's out, I want like Finn as a hero. Kylo That'd be cool. This is a, I, This feels like a trial run. It's yeah. a trial run game. Yeah. Let's let's fit this into like the battlefield engine and yeah, see, what we see can where do we go. It. And yeah. we made everything look fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah. that's the, the thing. The game looks so good. Visually, it's awesome. it's like you're yeah. really on Hoth, and I have Stunning. a lot of experience with that because I've vacationed there a couple of times. It's less expensive no, than Tatooine. You, but. you didn't vacation there. You literally <laughs> live in Hoth. Last winter was literally oh, that's Hoth. true. I did have to ride a tauntaun to work one time. <laughs> That one time. <laughs> when I went to... I actually, I swear to God, I went to work one time last uh, last year, and I was like, can we get a tauntaun for outside <laughs> or something? Because this is ridiculous. And your boss is like, yeah, how much How much is it? Yeah, he's, <laughs> like, <laughs> what are, how he's much? like, yeah, yeah, do you want to? Like, can, you, can you write up an expense report? <laughs> <laughs> that was last year when I went to Florida. The, half the parking lot wasn't plowed at TF Green, so I threw my car into like... Eight inches of snow. Walked through that at five in the morning. That's awesome. When we find, when we came back a week later, the snow was finally gone, and you weren't even in a parking spot. You were like in the middle of the fucking. <laughs> I was in a field. <laughs> he was parked in the Wendy's across the. Street. <laughs> what am I doing here? It was a whole Wendy's under the snow. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, also in uh, Battlefront news, two new playable heroes, including Ninum and Greedo, have been announced. <laughs> Um, I hope Greedo sucks. Greedo, <laughs> it actually says here, uh, Greedo's special ability is to never shoot first. And never shoot first. <laughs> That's not true, but no. that'd be awesome. Oh my god! If you get shot, you have to wait till you get you shot at to actually get shot. To shoot. That's a special yeah. perk. Um, additionally, those who purchased the DLC will have access to the Relby V10 V10 rifle, the D12 blaster pistol, and scatter gun, dioxys grenade, and adrenaline stim car stim star cards. Um, it, it also comes if you got the fifty dollars season pass. You don't have to pay for it. You already did. So that's cool. I, I mean, Neen Numb sucks. <laughs> like, are we really? <laughs> are we really? These are the heroes. We're scraping the batter, bat, bottom of the barrel already. <laughs> <laughs> You can't get IG-88 at the... No, I, I think wait until you get your Force Awakens. They'll be, they'll be there soon. Battlefront 2 is going to be cool. Yeah. Hopefully they I need some Kylo Ren in my life. Hopefully like they have throw, space battles. I'd like them to throw in stuff from Rebels. That'd be awesome. That'd be cool as well. Like, like the they, ship and like stuff? Like Kanan as a uh, hero. Yeah, uh, cool. Sabine. Yeah. Zeb. They kind of have to make them a little uh, more realistic because obviously they're animated. So well, yeah, but be yeah, yeah but I mean, it's easy. It's still be just cool. take Kanan with this whatever Freddie Prince Jr. looks like right now. He looks uh, like <laughs> he looks like Iron Bull. All right, <laughs> exactly like Iron Bull. <laughs> <laughs> Horns and everything. Yeah. He, he, he took some roids he, and he, it really he surgery done. He, he really got into character. They they like Sabine they would be easy because she's just a bounty hunter. Yeah, she's a bounty hunter. But she, <clears> yeah. Smoke show. Actually, all you would have to do is make the Mandalorian armor. <laughs> Smoke show. Smoke show. All right. You sick freak. <laughs> oh, come on. I worked so hard. Next story. Actually, going off Iron Bowl. Bioware. <laughs> Bioware. Tangential connection. Uh, has yet to publicly showcase Mass Effect Andromeda since the game was officially announced at E3 2015. I'm excited. But I'm fucking beyond excited for this game. But eager fans may have discovered several images of the game's main character. Um, obviously, you can't see pictures here, but it's it basically... It right here. It's, Mike's going to put it right He's going to put it over here. No, he's not. It's, <laughs> he never does. It's not in the budget. It's basically uh, <laughs> It's basically like the N7 armor. They didn't really show a face or anything. Yeah, it was just, just a full N7, N7 yeah, armor. Yeah, it was a full N7 our body armor suit. I wasn't yeah. listening to the story, so I have no idea what anyone's talking about. Mass Effect okay. Andromeda. Oh. The new main character of the leaked images. Okay. Son um, of a bitch. Man. It's believed that the player will take <laughs> I was the listening to other stuff. What other stuff? What Geo other stuff? was playing with the pencil and it was making noise and I was... This is quite distracting. Yeah, it was distracting. He's thinking, I'm going to have to fucking edit that out. Of the no, I had to mute him. <laughs> <laughs> About time. <laughs> Just leave him on mute, please. What? <laughs> it's, it's believed that the player will take on the role of a new hero called the Pathfinder, who must explore the galaxy yeah. in search of a new home for humanity. 
Well, I mean, after you blew up every fucking massive. Oh my god! Because no one wants to talk about how the relays are basically like a fucking nuclear yeah. explosion in space. <laughs> so, dude, I heard you say, "Oh my god, Geo." Everybody's problem with Mass Effect Three was far different from my problem. They establish in Mass Effect Two DLC that if you blow up a relay, you essentially wipe out the galaxy. For the record, that was my problem with it too. Yeah, not, not, so I don't care about the colored endings. Or yeah, anything. you wipe out the galaxy, so all of a sudden, all the relays blow up. Technically, you're just blowing up the universe, and that's canon <laughs> because that alien race is like fucking refugees yeah. on the citadel. Yes, during the fucking. <sighs> <laughs> The were the writers were, the, were did they have the same writers throughout the entire series? Yeah, like do they not remember? Did they not remember what they wrote. That's that was no, my big not. that was my big problem. That's why like when they said, "Oh, here's the new ending stuff," I downloaded it, but I never played it because I was like, "I don't care." Like I thought the ending was fine, whatever. My big problem was just that one big chunk of the ending. Pretty big detail that they were just like, no, I don't remember that. They, like, <laughs> no one oh, played that DLC. We, we played the <laughs> DLC that we, you know, marketed as a pre as a prelude to Mass Effect 3. Nobody played that. Still a great... I f love Mass Effect. I actually like Mass Effect 3 better than 2. But I like 2. I like two. 2 I sunk the most time yeah. into. My, I, well, I didn't really get to spend that much time with really any... Because remember, I, I two, put... 2, I think I might have hit... Right, I could have hit 100 hours. I kept as watching the three commercials... Uh, for Mass Effect Three when it's coming out, and I finally I just asked Tommy like, oh, "You have Mass Effect One and Two still, right?" I think right? you borrowed it from like yeah. me and Dyer. Yeah, exactly. And I played yeah. One and Two like right before Three came out, and then yeah. I bought Three. So that's the right way to do it, I guess. But I rebought them from my PC. To well, I regret maybe it play now. eventually. Yeah, I re I wish I would have played them when they came out and been able to spend like hundreds of hours. Yeah, they with were them, really but good. That it was great. For I mean, well, maybe they'll do a. I'm re release pack, yeah, an, a H, you know, just a edition, definitive yeah. edition pack with all the money edition. I play that. We need money edition. I, that'd be awesome if that's what it called. You buy just call it that. We you made buy HD it. for money edition. <laughs> it was already HD, but we made it more HD money edition. Now it's PS4 HD. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, you like the hog, don't you? The hedgehog. I, I am a Sonic fan. I have a Sonic tattoo. I'm sleeved up right now. I won't bring it out, but you know. Good, because I have a story for you and pretty much no one else at this table. Right. <laughs> Mario right. and Sonic at the Olympics 2016? No, it is. <laughs> no. 2016 marks the 25th anniversary of Sega's Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. Celebrate the milestone, milestone. Sega has already released a new Sonic logo and teased that the, a new blue blur game is on the way. <laughs> Now, Sega has announced it will hold a special presentation at South by Southwest this month titled Sonic the Hedgehog 25-Year Anniversary Real Creative. <laughs> this show <laughs> kicks off at 3.30 p.m. local time on March 19th, and it will be live streamed for all to see. So, looking like it's going to be a new hedgehog game. Hopefully, it's a side-scroller. Yeah, like hopefully they just fucking See, abandon now, this franchise because I love I love released, Sonic the Hedgehog. When they released the downloads on like PS3 and Xbox, the, that was like the, the, the Sonic Four, the actual yeah. like the side scroll. That was yeah. actually it was really fun. As far as I mean, the last like actual copy that I played from a Sonic game that was pretty decent. Well, and I don't even remember the name of the game. It was like because it's it, they've come up with so much crap in the last twenty five years. Been a lot of crap. But it was like there was. I forget what the name of the... It was like Sonic and there was two of them like that had like the classic little short fat one. Oh, it was like, it's like Generations or something like that. Yeah, yeah I think it was Generations. That one was pretty good because you kept switching back between the two of them and they, they brought back the whole Chaos Emerald thing and the whole... The, they, you, they just keep going they, way too out. The last, them out way the too last much. one, yeah. the last Sonic the Hedgehog game I played was the 2006 one. For GameCube? No. Oh, I had That was GameCube. Adventure. Yeah. D actually, I actually like Sonic Adventure DX, the one where uh, you're facing the chaos, the embodiment of yeah. the chaos emeralds. Yeah. That one's good. But um, the 2006 version was the it was you played as Sonic, you played as Shadow, and you played as the new one, Silver. The, the, the silver. The and it's just like yeah. it's you have fucking telekinesis. It's like it changes the whole gameplay. Dude. Like it's just <laughs> fucking make a game where I run really fast and run around loop de loops and collect Catch the rings. rings. Yeah. Like, that's all I want. Yeah. That's all you need. Nintendo just, just did it right with Mario. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even tell you the last Mario game I played. There's a new one coming. He's in everything in Nintendo. Do doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't pretty, matter. Pretty much. It, it's <laughs> basically Mario Goes to School is the next video game. Like, they could put Mario It's in actually it. Paper Mario. 
Paper Mario 7 or something. It's, <laughs> it's, seven. it's good. Like, oh, Close enough. Yeah. And, and they'll win every time because Mario is so much better than Sonic. But, I mean. That's not true. It's so true. What the problem it's was. It's true, at, like, from, like, a business standpoint. The problem and, like, was game was, standpoint. But Sonic's cooler. The problem He was actually has a superpower. Sega. He had some he's, sweet cartoons. He, Sega whored him out way too much. And they yeah, put they, him yeah, they put him in. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'll agree with that. But, and Sega was just a bad company in general. How about Shadow's game when he had a gun? That was awesome. I don't know. That was pretty good. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> give, give me one of the gun. I was like, oh, I don't know. How I feel. Then I played it. I was like, oh, and I say this. I just, kind of cool. I just shit on Silver the Hedgehog in like two statements back. He's a fucking great character. <laughs> I'll say that. But uh, just, I mean, they gotta just keep. You gotta go simple. Just keep it like, yeah. Give me Sonic. Give me Tails. Give me Eggman. You want to throw Shadow in there? He's all right. Sure. Yeah. Knuckles. Okay. Knuckles. Knuckles. See, Knuckles I don't like. Right. I thought Knuckles was terrible, and a lot of people. Can Moving crap on, because someone just took crazy pills. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what is so cool about Knuckles? Explain to me why he's Knuckles an Enchinita. First of all, yeah, he's always cool. I like. Uh, I like Knuckles. An underused animal. Did thing. anyone watch the animated? Yes. Like, I know yeah. it was a long. Yeah. Time. It was yeah. a long yeah. time ago for me. But you ever watched the movie? I haven't watched the, the movie's movie. awesome. It's, I used to watch the animated one. It's it's Sonic versus Metal Sonic. It's awesome. Um, they have a new one now, but it's the stupid version where he wears a handkerchief and shit. Handkerchief. Yeah, they're like, we, it's, they, it's dumb. No. You guys want to hear a real stupid story about that defines 12 year old problems? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Remember that Sonic game? It was like the first time Sonic was out on PlayStation. I think yep. it was Sonic Heroes. I fucking love that game. Yeah. So I was really pumped, and my dad told me he would bring me to GameStop to go get it. So okay. we went to GameStop. It's probably Electronics Boutique. No, I think it, it was, was GameStop, GameStop at that point. It was yeah. might, might have been EB so, Games. Or EB Games. Well, <laughs> either way, we went to the Swansea one first. Didn't ha sold out. Seacon had it, so they said Seacon had it, so we went to go. For some reason, my dad decided that he needed to get a winter jacket. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if you guys know this about my dad. Loves Coles. <laughs> I feel like the story's gonna end with you missing out we on the game by Coles like five minutes for an hour and a half. Someone else for a jacket. That, that Someone bought game, the last right? game, right? Let we him, got there probably let about. Him say the story, we guys. got there probably about a half hour before close. Uh, Cody's not here, so I'm gonna do Cody's role. <laughs> got there about a half hour before close. Got the game. Got See, he got, the got game. a shirt. If you ever hit me that hard again, I'm gonna got fucking kill you. Got a shirt that came See, with the pre-order. Ah, okay. Got home, my and my you mom like was like, girl. "You gotta go to bed. School's in the morning." <laughs> School's in the morning, so you didn't so get to play, I, play I the didn't game. Get so to play the game. The entire day, you're like, the entire day. I finally get home and play. It's like I don't think so. You got to go to bed. And that story was less thrilling than I thought. <laughs> I, it was no, be. but I was saying <laughs> defines just totally defines twelve year old. Problem. Well, you didn't get the game. Right. You didn't get the game. You gotta, you <laughs> did you get the game? <laughs> yeah, I did, I did get the game, and then I had to go to bed. Well, that story sucked. <laughs> <laughs> that was life when you were twelve. <laughs> Note <laughs> to self. Nowadays, shit, I gotta work tomorrow. I gotta go to bed. Don't well let, now, now, now you nowadays, stories. Oh, I gotta work. What's an hour? 3 30, 4 30 a.m. <laughs> I shit, I should have went to bed five hours ago. I, <laughs> why is the sun coming up? It's only <laughs> holy shit, it's six o'clock. <laughs> Good thing there's a Starbucks where I work. Yeah. I can make it on one hour sleep. That was the first Uncharted for me. I got that game. I was like, all right, I'll put it in. Next thing you know, I looked outside and I was like, oh, shit. Like, it was noon when I got it. It was pitch black outside when I looked out my window. I was like, jeez, I played that game for 10 hours straight. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the last story. Beautiful. Is I just bring this up because, guys, we got to make a game that has microtransactions. Because <laughs> Ultimate Team Mode in EA's yearly FIFA, NHL, and Madden games is making the publisher around $650 million Holy a year, shit. according to the chief financial officer, Blake Jorgensen. I'll tell you what, though. Those numbers are not in the U.S. Those are all in, in Europe. They have to be. Oh, no. They're tell me how. Here, too. Here? Shit ton of people you, buy stuff. Did, if you go... Well, yeah, not even for Madden, Not too? even Madden. Oh, I'm thinking FIFA. All, all, all that's no. FIFA and have NHL you and gone Madden. onto Twitch like for FIFA 16? Yeah, it's all... It's all Ultimate Team, and they have huge subscriber numbers, those guys. Yeah. So it's big in the U.S., too. FIFA's yeah. huge here. I just remember when I was playing FIFA, and I was I didn't buy any cards or anything, but I just noticed a lot of the people that were yeah. playing were in, were in Europe. Oh, yeah. Big time. There's a lot of people playing. Well, there's a lot in the U.S., though. Yeah, it's. I mean, if they're making so much money, I team. I just don't understand why. And this is going to NHL because that's what I play mostly. But if they're making so much money off this Ultimate Team stuff, they should probably use that money to make a solid game. <laughs> 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 
but moving on. <laughs> Fair enough. They keep practicing every year. They make a you know. I mean, it's an expansion. I, I, the gameplay is very smooth in this year's version, but I still don't understand. I mean, the goalie animations are just god awful. <laughs> it's sad because NHL used to be like one of the best sports. Yeah, games. like it was one. Of there's the there's ones. times where you literally destroy a goalie and there's nothing, but like you breeze by him and there's maybe a jersey touch and it's like four minute minor. I don't know what the hell this game's doing. <laughs> Just drives me nuts. Time for topic of the week. What if you? That's gonna look cool on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna go with Tom's 3D. Yeah, 3D. <laughs> the 3D. The Tom 3D experience. Speaking of Tom, it was your idea. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> it was your idea for topic of the week. So explain to the folks what what it is this week. He doesn't. Wait, I don't know. We gotta do the week. We gotta do the what it is. It, so instead intro of doing it. Yeah. We got 15 oh, so minutes. Instead of just, okay. We we'll, have do more it, we'll do it quick. Minutes. We'll do it quick. All right. So instead of more. doing, you know, just a single topic of the week, we're each going to do a topic, quickly talk about it, and just move on. Go from there. So who wants to kick it off? I'll kick it. All kick right. It. Go for it. So the Oscars were Sunday. Did anyone watch it? What'd you think? Would, uh, was there anything that surprised I missed, you? I missed the only part that mattered the monologue. Nope. Buzz and Woody. I watched all of it. <laughs> I watched all of them. The whole entire fucking project. I watched Walking Dead and went to bed, so it was my Sunday. <laughs> I watched, so he's tapping out on this. <laughs> See, the Oscars to me is like my second Super Bowl. Yeah, I don't feel that way about it at all. Do you but, want okay. me to? Do you like want it. me to just say fuck Best Supporting Actor? Like, is that what we're trying to get? Yeah, to? that was very surprising to me. Should have been Sly. Um. And, or Tom you know, Hardy. I'm, I'm just looking for more diverse. I'm gonna watch the BET Awards next week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wait, is that uh, next week? I don't know. I, <laughs> oh, I, don't know. I, don't know. I have one. F- I for one apologize to our African American audience. All two of you. That's the whole no. audience. No, there's that's, that's probably three or four. You racist <laughs> sons of bitches. But uh, yeah, I watched it. What do you want to talk about it besides? Uh, um, good job, DiCaprio. DiCaprio. Spotlight kind of surprised me. I didn't expect Spotlight to take best picture. There, there's Especially uh, since Mad Max was like winning everything. Yeah. Real quick that. about DiCaprio. That just like, you know, there's plenty other times he should have just won. Oh, yeah. For his, he's played, he's had better roles that he should have won for. He, he, are you aware this is only his third nomination for best actor? People act like he's been nominated. Six, six like, overall. Six overall, yeah. yeah. But like people act like he's been nominated for best actor like fucking 11 well, times. No, no, no. It's not even Was close. He, I think it's because of some of the roles that he's done. They felt he should have. They've just been yeah. better. I think there's been roles. Yeah, but then he went up against was, guys like uh, Daniel Day-Lewis. And stuff I don't know what time, year it was, so like, but he should have won for Aviator. Other than that, I mean, I haven't he, seen Revenant, so I can't did comment. Did he get nominated but, for Catch Me If You Can? No. Nope. Because he should have gotten nominated no. for that. The, he, the three best actor nominations are The Aviator, <laughs> Blood Diamond, and... Blood uh, Diamond, yeah. And um, the Revenant. That's for best actor. Best not, actor, not supporting. Because he, he was nominated for supporting. Supporting himself. Was he in the yeah. Departed? Was he? No, he Django. wasn't nominated for that. Because I was pissed. But Depart, yeah, Departed was awesome. Um, he, he, if if he should have won for anything, I was Departed. happy that uh, Emmanuel Lubetsky and Inarito won best cinematography and best director. I, I think it should have gone to um, George Miller. George Miller. Yeah, I agree. everyone says I, that. Because I just think seventy-something-year-old shooting a action movie in the desert and that looked that well yeah action movie in the desert to, to write the Inuritos won a bunch he's gonna win more I love Inuritos I don't think he should have uh, won but I I'm mad that Ryan Coogler wasn't nominated for Ryan Coogler should have at least been nominated that was crap deserved at least a nomination that movie's fucking gold and he wasn't he nominated took whatsoever. a franchise uh, 10 years later since the last Rocky movie? Yeah, something like that. Ten years later, and then made it his own. Made it, like, developed his own character. and Printed role. money for Warner Brothers. Literally, <laughs> just... And, and now he's got the Black Panther movie. I don't know if you've noticed that work, but, like... He's our, shooting it? Our, he's directing We it don't now. have a single DVD copy of Creed left. And yeah, I know. Our <laughs> Blu-ray copies are almost gone. Yeah. I bought the Steelbook day one, because I fucking <laughs> <laughs> love it so much, but... Yeah, I thought George Miller should have won, but I could see. Obviously, I see why. In your one, one, one but still a good choice, still better than the best supporting actor choice. And Lubetsky winning cinematography was just a no-brainer to me. I think that was one of the greatest feats in cinema, cinematography history that that movie portrayed. Mm. It was a good movie. Wiz Khalifa oh. got robbed. Wiz Khalifa. He wasn't even nominated. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 
but that just goes to show you, you want to win an Oscar, write a Bond song. <laughs> not even a, it's not even a good perform- Bond song. It's not even. Was there's terrible. There's yeah. way better Bond songs. It was a really song. awful. Yeah, it just like, other than the pitch itself, like he was, he, he was a little off. He was there's off, better. Bond. But he was also like rocking back and yeah, forth. Like, just, like, it like, felt weird. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah it's it's like right. Right. on that note, no the weekend sky killed it though. Yeah. Oh, I, like I don't like that song. song. Yeah, that song's <laughs> terrible. They picked a terrible weekend song, but well, you have to do well, the movie that yeah, is nominated. Yeah, he can't. Yeah, the, the movie that has the most Brazzies nominations. <laughs> Brazzies? Or oh, whatever they call it. Is that the Brazzers Awards? <laughs> what are they called? Brazzies? Brazzies. 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 Yeah, yeah, that's Brazzers. That's, that's your Brazzies. Go, go. Brazzers is a different topic altogether. <laughs> like, was that the Brazzies Awards last weekend? Brazzies Awards. Whatever. Damn kids and their ponies. Right, anything else on the Oscars? Anyone? Any, Bueller? Bueller? <laughs> nope. Next topic. Uh, next topic, me. Uh, Xbox One getting add-on hardware? Anyone hear about I that? I thought we were talking about RuneScape. <laughs> 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 I really thought that we was We can make topic. it a double. Whoa. Uh, just, <laughs> oh, you're going to talk about it. You want to talk no, about it. just Jesus Christ. Tom wants to talk about RuneScape 3. No. I'll see you there, Tom. <laughs> All right, anyways, I was talking about Xbox One and <clears throat> add-on hardware. Uh, essentially, they want to make it like a PC where you can add on stuff to make it okay. faster or, you know. But grow. how? I don't know how. I don't. The thing is already freaking massive yeah, enough. Like, can't even, it's gonna be like a fucking. I can't. I can't fucking wait till Dyer breaks his Xbox. This <laughs> <laughs> is gonna have every he's, attachment he's ever. It. It's gonna be he, like Voltron. Di- <laughs> Dyer, I know you know what you're doing, but you're gonna fuck it up. You're gonna fuck it up. You're gonna burn your house down. <laughs> that whole apartment building just gone. <laughs> Cody comes home. What the hell? <laughs> One week I was gone for. <laughs> But I, I, I just think that's interesting that they're exploring something like that. I think you know, that's usually cool. a console you'll see a generation, maybe yeah. six, seven years, maybe before there's any kind of upgrades, and now they're looking into doing right. it now. Which means Sony's going to look into doing it now, so it's only good for both. Yeah, no, I agree. Nintendo will have to look into it, so it's no, only good. Nintendo for Nintendo will be behind Nintendo. Nintendo should they'll just come, come out with, with a, a console, a console like console that should have been released like three years ago. <laughs> Nintendo's throwing Ataris out the window. <laughs> <laughs> upgrades, we, upgrades. We made we made ET. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. We're late to the party again. Um, yeah, that that was just my thing. I thought that was interesting. I haven't yeah, heard of that it's an interesting before. idea, but I I don't know people how are gonna, gonna fuck work. it up so bad. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah not, not Microsoft itself, it. but like the pe- like the people, people that try to fucking upgrade their Xbox and fuck it up. Especially like the Break 13 year old kids are gonna be like, yeah. I'm gonna make this thing so good to play Call of Duty. I'm no, it. but you, I'm assuming it has to be Xbox. Stuff. It's yeah, not yeah. like I'm gonna buy. Well, RAM. I'm just waiting for yeah. someone to fuck it up and then try to sue Microsoft and be like, "Oh, I'm sure you <laughs> oh, that's, that's, the, that's the first." It thing only that's how many USB happen. ports does it have? So they can't do a lot with like USB. I don't see any. I don't know. I looked at. Like, I actually what? looked at my Xbox One. I'm like, where does anything go? Is it gonna happen? Yeah. I mean, there are some X, uh, USB 3.0, which is the super speed. Mm-hmm. So I mean, you can kind of utilize that, but I mean, unless they come up with some sort of multi-port USB with all these connections, or even I don't know. how many USB it, ports are there? Two. Or well, no, well, some sort maybe of connection two, but there's to some on in the top back. of the hard drive where it just makes the machine bigger. When, I've which seen just where you can add on external hardware where it's an attachment because there are USB ports on the side. So you can actually just add the hard drive right to the to the side. It only makes it a little bit wider, like two inches wider. So you can essentially increase your uh, storage storage space for really cheap. And that that unit's only like 30 bucks, but then you have to buy the hard drive. So, I mean, that's, that's kind of cool the way they did it. It, it. Like seamlessly blends in and everything. That that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, well, that that was my thing. I was uh, really kind of interested in seeing what they were gonna do with that. Poor guard. Poor guard. Pass. Pass. What the? F- I don't have one. You don't have nothing. <laughs> Not- <laughs> bravely default. So bravely second. Do you want to talk about RuneScape three? RuneScape three. No. <laughs> Tom, how oh, we're gonna <laughs> dominate the world in RuneScape three? I'm not playing <laughs> RuneScape. Son of a bitch. Dragon Warrior Guild. <laughs> I'm not playing RuneScape. Dragon Rider Guild. I'm not playing RuneScape. You got it. Dragon, oh, All right. right. You, got got it. It. you got it. You got it. You got it with the Aragon the theme. Huh. Through the paper. Damn I'm it! Sorry. I needed that paper. Dragon Riders Guild. Dragon Rider. Guild. Tom, before you talk, lift your mic up. No, I was getting lazy. With everything. Go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we we were talking about this real quick while we were at dinner. About our favorite sitcoms. I just wanted to hear what everyone's favorite sitcom was because I couldn't really hear anybody. <laughs> I'm just that's what I got. Sitcom uh, and I, and we you know got a bunch of video game stuff. So make it. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. That's that's really really cool. yeah. I like that one. It's short, sweet. I would say me too. It's always sunny. How I Met Your Mother, The Office. I mean, I 
I'm gonna. I'm torn as far as all time sitcom. I think Seinfeld's awesome. Okay, but I'm gonna have to agree with Eric and how it. How about your mother? I think top to bottom, Neil Patrick Harris is just the funniest. With with the caveat of I hate that ending so much and it. Can't oh play. yeah, I mean if you take yeah. away the, if you take literally take away the last two minutes of that ending. If they if it they could probably would have been okay. If they or could even just the like spoilers <laughs> for How I Met Your Mother, but if they could just end it at the him and the mother getting married and none of the stuff that happens after that happens. I'd be great. <laughs> yeah, it would have been a much better ending. Yeah, fine. Should have wrapped the mother. story oh, okay. full that's circle yeah. right there, and that's how I met your mother. Boom. Yeah, Done. I, don't, like, I don't need any of the rest of the shit. Spoiler, I guess. Spoiler. At this point, most people should know. But spoiler. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. You've yeah. been warned. Okay, go ahead. The Wait. whole like, Sounds and so then you, and then your mother got sick, and this, and then it's like, well. You, oh, then the kid's like, oh, well, you should totally nail Robin. Yeah. Like, this, <laughs> this whole story has been about how you love Robin. Fuck you. No, it's not. That no, it's girl's not. a bitch. <laughs> Robin's a bitch. Robin is a bitch. Robin's a big fat Regardless of Well, her, she's not big and fat, but she's Canadian. a bitch. She's oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, that was that was probably one of the worst endings to a sitcom. I really I can't. Oh. There's no like big nobody like Big Bang. I don't like Big I Bang. I don't like Big Bang. I mean, I watch Big Bang, but I definitely would not put it up with any favorite. There's it, so it many sitcoms. Yeah, I would so many. Like if I was gonna go top three, I'd say How I Met Your Mother, Scrubs, and then Game of Thrones. <laughs> no, <laughs> a sitcom of sad. No. <laughs> I mean, S- sad. <laughs> I I guess Friends, but not really. I mean, I like <laughs> Friends. Really. I like Friends, but like. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to put so, Fuller so House at three. Fuller House is at three. How about three. Full House? I didn't like Full House that much. I, I guess if I we're still call dibs, though. I'm surprised yeah. you didn't say uh, Girl Meets World. Well, I hate uh, that show. Girl Boy Meets World. Boy, Boy, Boy Meets World, yeah. maybe. Girl, Boy Girl Meets World. World, yeah, I'll put up there. But Girl Meets World's time. Actually, yeah, I'd put Bo- Boy Meets World before Fuller House. I'd say uh, It's Always Sunny. Grandfather. IT Crowd. And Top Chef. I like King of Queens. <laughs> Junior. King of Queens. <laughs> Queens is good. I do like King of Queens, Queens is a great one that no one seems to talk about as much anymore. I like King of Queens. It's because he, he ruined it by making Paul Blart yeah. twice. <laughs> twice. Uh, How did he convince the studio that was a good idea? Because he was he, he was going to run into a clean piece of glass. <laughs> How do you convince the studio that Pixels is a good idea? Oh, piles God. of money. Those Didn't movies. he make two like Zookeeper <clears throat> movies too or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, watched the first. I don't know, but I know Matt Damon to DVD. Too. Yeah, did buy I mean, yeah, we bought his. That's actually a pretty decent movie. I mean, it, gives, it gives away the no, whole story. It's in the not title, bad, but you know. But <laughs> Paul Blart Two went straight to DVD. We're, we're expanding to top three sitcoms. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Top I three. guess The Office, top three, holy Seinfeld. Shit. I don't. I don't like sitcoms. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, shocked you don't like something. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Inbetweeners actually. Oh, that's a good Seinfeld one. That is actually a good one. That's a good one. Considering how many times I've watched Inbetweeners. I assume you mean The American Office, right? The Ameri- you didn't American Office. Yeah, since I threw an English show in. Yeah. The American Office. Yeah. And then uh, Seinfeld. The American Seinfeld. You don't have to think of anything. The American Seinfeld? Yeah, as opposed to the Israeli version. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't like it. Wasn't a big fan of all the Hamas stuff going on. What's the deal with the Gaza Strip? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's what we should title it. Israeli Seinfeld this episode. Forget about Mark Israeli Hamill. Seinfeld. Israeli Seinfeld. I got to look at my my DVR. So yeah, in between her, no in, in between her is, uh the English one. Definitely not the American one. My yeah. awesome gift was there. Yeah. <laughs> no, the, the American versions of most English or the American yeah. version was how I found out about it because I was bored at home watching TV and I saw this show in betweeners, read the description, watched it. I was like, okay, that sucked. Then I went on Netflix and there was the English version and it's awesome. Way better. Oh yeah, they they get friends. away with a lot more things, so that's good. Best friends. <laughs> Best friends. Best football friends. <laughs> <laughs> Not your fucking friends. <laughs> The movies are good, too. Next topic? Every way you go. Oh, uh, well, what do we got in time? I don't want to. Oh, shit. I just got one. I just thought I mean, of a topic we can, we can bow, I'm just a guest. We can you just thought of a topic now that we're wrapping up. Almost. <laughs> we can bounce, uh, we, we can, don't have nah, to wrap up at an exact time. We, we can, like, we we can bounce bit. back to no, we got I'm just a guest here. We, we got, got time. time. If you have I'll a topic, do it. I got to get home for join or die. So Best TV theme. Does he have any? He said I could go. Oh, go by all means. He can go. I'm not. I'm. I wouldn't have. He's, he's the guest. I, I know. Insist. I wouldn't have went if he had <laughs> said hadn't said three times. What's your topic? Best <laughs> TV theme. Best yes. TV theme. Period. Oh, song? So easy. So easy. 
All right, go ahead. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Incorrect. 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 <laughs> Your opinion's invalid. <laughs> uh, Fresh Prince is a good one. Fresh Prince is a good one, but I'm not. It's not my pick. You've been singing it, so I already know what you're gonna say. <laughs> it's the, fu- it's you the just full house it. theme. You just sang it. You sang it, and then that's said, what. Oh, I got in the. Yeah, I got a topic. <laughs> Captain Obvious. The full. Ha- I wasn't really trying to leave an air of mystery no, about there, it. There was no mystery. The full Every house theme is oh. amazing. The Boy Meets World one is good too. Which one? The original. Because well, there's like. How about Power Rangers? Come on, there's so many better. Power ones. Rangers was actually the Mighty, first one. Mighty that Morphin, Morphin. SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh please. no, 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 that's obnoxious. No. <laughs> <laughs> I like Park. Saved by the Bell's theme. South Park. I gotta classic. go with it's a tie between um, what I just said, Full House. <laughs> I couldn't even. Oh, uh, you know what? Yeah, fuck it. The Office's theme. Full House and Friends. Yeah, that's cool one. It's a catchy Friends. one. Friends is great. The Friends, Rembrandt. Friends, is great. So Friends. know what? You know how much mu- you laugh at the Rembrandts? <laughs> They're fucking swimming in Scrooge McDuck money yeah. right now because of that song. One hit fucking the, wonders. You know, Friends and uh, when you put that one to the the Third Reich version, it's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> so no one told your life was gonna be this way. Pictures of Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Go ahead, Tim. What's your topic? Uh, I I really don't have a topic to be honest. Just what? I mean, I don't anything. What it could be anything. Mind, man. Anything. Well, I mean, end of the season's coming up, so I'm I'm a sports. I like hockey. So who's a cup favorite? Who's everyone's cup favorite? Anyone who watches the game or who thinks is gonna? Who's your cup favorite? Who do we you have think a, has a we have threat? a no sports rule on this uh, podcast. Well, okay. I'm kidding. We talk about sports. <laughs> all about sports all that's all that's we the don't joke. Talk about fucking sports. <laughs> <laughs> that's the joke. <clears throat> All right. I mean, so who, who, you don't you don't want to talk about the Arnold Classic? No, you don't. You don't okay. want to talk about top wrestlers of all time. I mean, we. I mean, well, that's <laughs> that's that's too easy. Ultimate I think Warrior. everyone can agree with the top wrestlers. Chris so. Jericho, <sighs> Daniel Bryan, Tri- Triple E. Oh, let's go back to your original. I can't believe we <laughs> fucked <laughs> you on this. Thing. Well, no, I I kind of like the wrestling topic better, so let's go with that. I <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're a real waffler. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Oh yeah, that's Best true. wrestler, go. Best of all time. All time. You gotta go with Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels. That's a that's good a one. good one. That is a real good one. There's not one match that he's had that's terrible, and even the so terrible. You're gonna go with a guy who good. who was wrestling for five like five years. If by you mean if you mean like 18 years, you're yeah, fucking. Yeah. Dude, Shawn Michaels been doing it. <laughs> Sean Michaels he's trained been doing it. Sean Michaels been doing, it. doing <laughs> what? He's That's been it. doing it. He's been doing Sean Michaels it. trained Daniel Bryan. Sean Michaels that, created Daniel Bryan. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do. You you replace yourself with your betters by I training them. CM Punk created Daniel Bryan. CM? No, CM Punk. All he did was create a bunch of whiny babies that can't get over him leaving. <laughs> Well, hey now. <laughs> <laughs> Said Tim. Tim and a CM Punk tattoo. Something to I say do. about that? Yeah, I got no no. As far as the last decade, I think seems so. You go, Shawn Michaels. But all time, Shawn you Michael. say Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho, Daniel Bryan. You know, you <laughs> you have to really think about it. You know, Hulk Hogan changed the game. I agree with you. I mean, he had like He's, three he, moves. I actually, I'm not sure who Hulk Hogan is. Uh, you can't find him on <laughs> WWE Network. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. See the racist guy who got no. erased from history? No, <laughs> I think his real name is Chris Benoit. Chris Benoit, Benoit. he did. Oh. Um, but no. <laughs> you took it to a dark place. Well, I was taking it to, you said erased from WWE Network. and you. Yeah, I didn't say who, a fucking double murderer. <laughs> Well, you know, <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> oh, I thought he was going to say Owen Hart, but um, Hulk Hogan, rest in pieces. Um, Hulk Hogan? Hulk Hogan's oh, not dead. Meant, Owen no, Hart. no, Hulk Hogan. <laughs> rest in pieces? I didn't, really? Who said that about Owen Hart? You did? You did. You're a terrible person. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, my God, G. Hulk Hogan. Man, it was a long fall there. <laughs> Pun <laughs> fully intended. <laughs> Uh, Did I do that? Oh, no one mentioned that. Ho- Ho- I don't even matter. think Hogan is the best in his era. Never mind all all time. Yeah, but he the, he he made wrestling what it is today. Essentially, he was the he was a character. Oh yeah, I beg to differ. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just sounded like Stanley from The Office. I don't know. I've never watched that. So. <laughs> not not Randy. Really. I liked um, Shane McMahon. No, Stone. Shane O'Mac. <laughs> Shane O'Mac. I like Stone Cold. Stone Cold was and awesome. The Rock had the greatest interviews of all time. He definitely did. <laughs> there's, there's not. A, I mean, you can't argue The Rock is the best on the mic, arguably. But and he, it, athletically, he's a freak. But I mean, 
I just don't know how you could go against Shawn Michaels when you really break down. Yeah, best comp. I mean, if you go by who were the company guys, it's like Hulk Hogan, Stone Cold, The Rock, John Cena. <laughs> John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> you have to sneak that one. <laughs> Honorable mention to the rafters thing. <laughs> Things up there. Stay I was gonna say everyone for mentioned fight. a lot of like the WWE guys. No one mentioned any like um, ECW. The uh, only WCW guy whoa, I care about is Sting. Jericho was Rick Flair. E- Jericho was an ECW WCW whoa. guy. Germany, <laughs> Mexico. Germany, Mexico. Yeah. Yeah, he was all over the place before. Who was that uh, Lucha guy that was in uh, WCW? Uh, not Lucha. Ray but Mysterio. Ray Mysterio. Mysterio. Yeah. He was He's WCW and then WWE yeah, for yeah. a while. Well, everyone was at one point WCW and then went to... Yeah, the, well, they, 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 that they was the thing was they had like the best mid card because that was like Jericho, Mysterio, uh, Benoit, Eddie Guerrero. <laughs> just going to keep mentioning the double murderer. Listen, <laughs> I'm just saying, you want to talk about good wrestlers who they had in the mid card? Uh, he was there. He was there. And he was good at wrestling. I'm not even going to say it. I had a choke. I'm not Were you going to say, gonna say it. better? At <laughs> never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm not even going to say Wrap it. Wrap it up. I'll, I'll tell you off air. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. So uh I guess that's all we got. Yeah, we, we got, got anything we want to plug besides like, share, subscribe? Like, uh, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you, Tim, for coming on. Thank you, Tim. Oh, it was a pleasure. I look forward to trying this again. Like, yeah. <laughs> maybe, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Divisional. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll have a X Men uh debate one time so if game can finally get some respect <laughs> bitch let's just <laughs> not go there well, could we just make it through the whole episode without having So thanks for having me. It's been real. Uh, Until next time. Yeah. <laughs> we'll keep the lights on. LTOS. For you. Good <laughs> like, subscribe. Good evening. Good night. Like, share, and subscribe.